70 degrees outside, nice day. First wading trip of the year without waders, getting in the water. I think it's warm enough, and uh, we're about to get in here and find out. But if, the, if it's warm enough for me to wade without waders on, then I know the fish are gonna be active. All I can say is it's about time. Well, I just think uh, I think I just lost my first 45 minutes of fishing, which wasn't much to be seen. I'm using this little uh, mega bass swim bait, and I've caught one bluegill. I haven't seen any any bass yet. I haven't seen a bass yet, which is kind of odd. Usually, I spook one out or something, but the the water is really clear. It's a little bit cold as I'm waiting here, but it's it's all right. It's creeks up a little bit. I'm gonna continue using this little lure for a little bit longer. I feel like we're gonna come across some nice bass. There's a fish. <laughs> I saw that one. That's a pretty fish. Oh, what's, what is this fish? I think it's a spotted bass. Dude, this guy is a chunk. Come here. Whoa, what, wait a minute. That looks like a Kusa bass. If it is, it is a giant. I, I don't know if it's 100% Kusa bass or not. It may be mixed with the spotted bass. They do that some, but this guy looks. Oh my, God. that looks like a 100% Kusa bass. Um, got the blotches down here, it's got the eye patch. But up here, it kind of looks more spotted bass. I don't know, I think he might be a mix. But look how fat this fish is. All right, I'm gonna put him back in there. <laughs> a pot belly. Little, uh, looks like a Kusa bass, but maybe a mix, but that is a really cool little creek bass here. Let's see if we can get this guy in the water so it looks like a pretty fish. Well, I'm gonna stay with a white colored one because that's what I had with me. I got a few other ones to go through, but, and I'm gonna use the same jig head. It's a 1 16th ounce, pretty lightweight jig head. A four inch Kitek Easy Shiner. Another real flexible one. I've used the three inch and caught a lot of fish off of them. And I've caught just a couple fish off this four inch. So I wanna try it out. Ooh, there's a bass right in front of me. He followed my lure up. He's like in this little deep hole right in front of where I'm standing. I don't know if he knows where I'm here or not. <laughs> oh, he came out. I look like a little spotted bass. He was right in front of me. I could see it's like four feet deep. He followed my lure in his little crevice, tossed it back in there. I saw him eat it. He, he was kind of small, so he must not got it really good in his mouth. That was pretty cool, though. Oh, there goes a snake in the water. I see that a lot actually. I see, uh, we'll see snakes fall out of trees, come off banks, booming in the water. But they're not coming after me, so whenever they do that, they're running away. So I really don't worry about it. Oh, nice one. Come on, come on. Oh, he won't hit it. No, he's not huge, but easy big enough to hit this lure. He followed it all the way within about 10 feet in front of me and just watched it. So they don't really want this. Let's, let's give them something else. All right, this right here is a Yum Pulse. It's a three and a half inch swim bait. I just ordered them, haven't caught anything off of it. And uh, so it's definitely a different color. It's, it's a like bluegill color. Smack that, had it stuck up in that tree. Oh, nice large mouth. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, that one was aggressive. I, I caught it over that little limb, 
and I was just kind of twitching it. He smacked it. I tried to set the hook best I could. Chunky little, little large mouth. This is normal little creek bass size. I saw one behind me there that was over a pound and a half, probably close to two pounds. But uh, I spooked him, so I'm trying to cast up ahead. So. But it's been been a little bit of a struggle. I just can't really get them to just attack like they normally are. But there's a good one. Oh, what is this? Oh, nice. Man, it took a while to get that. I casted the same spot over here six or seven times. That's a pretty fish. I, I can't believe I haven't been getting largemouth today. That's another Coosa bass. Still a really good size one, but where are the largemouth? I saw that one or two up there. They just, they just not, not active. I don't know what the deal is. That's a pretty fish. Pretty fish. Fishermen gotta be the dumbest people in the world. Every time we go fishing, we think we're just gonna set the world on fire and catch them all. Well, only caught a few, but that probably means that they're hitting at the pond, so maybe I should go try there. Oh, the pond. They definitely gotta be biting in here. Oh, I see some big bluegill swimming. They might even be able to get this in their mouth. Let's see. There's a lot of bluegill and little bass in this pond. I know there are some bigger bass in here too, so hopefully we can get some fish. See, there's something on it. Got it. Oh, it's just a large mouth. Oh, yep. It's not too bad, little chunky guy. I feel like I need to take some of these little guys out of here. A lot of them this size in here. I know that little one works, this thing right here. I love this little easy shiner, the little bass. Let's upsize our swim bait now. All right, one last change, yum money minnow. These are actually given to me and I don't think I've ever caught a fish on them, but I heard they're really good. So we'll give it one last try here. Oh wow, that was a green sunfish. How did he get on that? Oh man, it's all kinds of sunfish up in here. Oh my, a lot of fish. Dude, there's so many green sunfish in this little hole right here. Oh, it was a little bass. He was up in that tunnel. This is where the spillway from the uh, bridge. Man, he really wanted it. A little large mouth. First catch on this. I really love the action on this thing. This thing actually looks really good. Hey, guys. All right, this is a pretty common creek in my videos, so it's usually another good spot. So there's got to be something to bite in here. I'm having a rough day today. Or something hitting at it. 
couldn't even get a rock bass what is up with today man i really worked hard trying to make a video using swim baits and i'm like yeah there's no doubt i'm kind of catch 20 30 fish went to my favorite creek where i can catch a lot of fish barely caught three i think went to the pond like there's no doubt i'm catching several fit bass here always do caught like two couldn't get nothing else to hit went to one of my favorite bridges probably my favorite bridge where i always catch fish couldn't get anything off of here but uh, that's fishing for you. So as soon as you think you got something figured out, you think you're gonna, you know, no way you can fail. Um, usually it falls through. I know I'm a little late in the game on uh, swim baits, soft plastic swim baits, but man, I'm really loving them now. I just started using them. Uh, people, uh, I've told me about them before, and I, you know, I had friends try to let me use theirs, and I, I just, I never used them because I always saw giant, you know, like six, eight inch big swim baits. And still, until I started using these small ones and just kind of watching the action and watch the fish react, man, I, I love them. This one right here is one that I will be definitely be using a lot. The Nico brand, I uh, use a lot of their products, but this uh, Shad Sculler 2.7 inch Pearl White, I love this lure. I've caught a ton. I plan on using it a lot. Uh, it, it definitely catches fish, all sizes, um, really good on rock bass. I've caught a lot of rock bass on them. Small mouth, large mouth, everything uh, will uh, will hit that. Love it, especially in current. I love casting; it's got a really good wobble to it. I uh, just started using these mega bass lures, and they're little, little small things, but they really catch fish. And they, like, and there's another thing that catches a lot of different sizes. Uh, Kitech Easy Shiners, three inch ones, um, pretty close to the uh, mega bass lures. They catch a lot of different stuff. Got a great action. Yum, uh, money. Uh, I've heard a lot about these. I've, I've still got to try these out some more. I got some dark uh, Nico uh, Scully, Scully Shed. Uh, four inch Kitek Easy Shiners. Got some uh, more Kitek lures. These Yum Pulse I uh, just saw on their uh, on the website and I ordered those. They're three and a half inch. And I end up catching one fish on it. I, I like the action on it. I like the color, the glitter. You know, you can use it as a trailer or just as a swim bait. And I, I, I've used these a little bit, these uh, DOA. I've caught a couple fish off of them, but there's a million different, you know, swim baits out there. And a lot of them do the similar same thing, but that's something I'm really liking. And if something that you aren't uh, up to speed on, like I just, you know, I'm not that much, it may be something you look into, especially the little three inch ones. I love those little three inch size. You can catch a good variety of fish. Um, big pan fish can hit them. Crappie, I've caught a ton of crappie on the little three inch ones. Big bass will hit them. I've caught the striped bass on them. Uh, big, you know, small mouth, large mouth, everything. So it's a real, I love a, a lure that catches a good diversity. Especially with the swim bait, a lot of them, you can fish them several different ways. You can jerk them, you can twitch them, let it sink. Uh, they'll hit on the fall, you can just reel it steadily. So I like how you can mix it up depending on the body of water. All right, well, thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite swim bait is and like what size it is. That way I can get some more ideas to try out. I know there's gonna be a ton of them out there and a lot of them will you know, catch the same fish, but you gotta find out what you're comfortable with, what you like, what works for you. And um, I'm still playing around. I got several that I already know work in certain situations. I'm still working on some other ones for other situations. Well, thanks for watching. Didn't have the greatest day of fishing, but that's how it goes. And I um, hope you enjoy the video anyways.